Hey guys, it's Elliot. I'm a staff writer at GamingNexus.com, and you're listening to the Gaming Nexus show. Each week, we uh, each of us come with a story or two. I brought a couple this week just because I thought my first story is so boring. Um, but share them with <laughs> each other, and then just kind of get reactions from uh, the other three in audience with us. Joining me, as always, is Eric. Hey! Uh, who writes at Gaming Nexus as well. Then we have our streamer, Joseph. Oh! And then Max isn't really stream or write. And he makes games, so <laughs> that's like here? even more important, maybe. Hey, all right, strong intro. Yeah, there you go. See, I was trying, yeah. <laughs> Max yeah. develops the best game in the world called Ocean's Heart, and you can <laughs> buy it right now. There you go, Max. Doesn't stream or write. Yeah, and this is Elliot, who doesn't ride horses. That's right. No, I've ridden a horse. <laughs> Do you ride horses regularly? What's regular? Like? I've so, I've streamed before. Ride horses I've every written day? before. Do you ride horses every day? No, I'm not. No, a I'm just rider. saying. Like, you, are you a horse you girl, your, Max? Is metrics. that what you're trying to tell us? You're a horse girl <laughs> slash centaur. We worked at <laughs> most of us worked at Cracker Barrel, and occasionally we would get the horse theme set that would come in, and people would go like actual ape shit over some of that shit. <laughs> the horse set? Yeah, you don't remember like the horse plates and stuff. Oh, 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 okay. You, like, I, yeah, like eat, at a Cracker Barrel, there's themes, right? There's like the Christmas theme, and then there's 15 different versions of Christmas themes, or like you know, Made in America theme, or whatever. And there was like a horse theme that was like there <laughs> occasionally. You get a horse plate, or a horse sweater, or you know, horse <laughs> blanket. Me happy. Horse blanket. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but they have that shit there. That you know, get your Gaither horse blanket. <laughs> I, I want the viewers to, or the listeners to know that it wasn't me that spiraled this out of control this time. It was Elliot. <laughs> our it was Elliot. Here. So, Joe, you were talking about before we started recording what you wanted to share, and it was something that I didn't even think of sharing because I kind of like just brushed it off as like, hey, this should have happened a while ago. But you think it was like worthy of us talking about. So, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, so uh, Nintendo, uh, to their Nintendo Switch, added bluetooth support so now you can listen through uh, bluetooth headphones on your nintendo switch uh the feature that everybody's always wanted you know clamored for and you know they did it like they they did it uh, i'm sure it's going to be like you know because of the new switch coming out with the old led switch coming out or whatever um but like all the articles uh euro gamer i'm, I'm gonna call them out euro gamer nintendo switch finally adds bluetooth uh, Kotaku, Nintendo finally adds, like, everybody's like, you know, finally adds, finally adds, and like, I get it, I get it, but what is too late to add a feature to something? Like, uh, for, I think, seven to eight years, we only had the like button on Facebook, and then they added the love and the heart and reaction and whatever, and the angry reaction. Like, how long... It's too long to like, wait for a future. Like, like when does it switch from this feature was added to this feature was finally added? Right. Like, <laughs> what, what's the what's what's the call here? Because I'm, it's it's just it's it's just a lot. I don't like. You should be happy that they added because they didn't have to. They sold eighty four million systems <laughs> without Bluetooth support. So I'm wondering the Bluetooth support is it just for like earbuds or can you use it to talk also like i i still am really unclear on like how multiplayer works on switch as far as communicating with other people like wasn't there that weird thing where you had There's... to like use your phone like when me oh, and max God, played yes, online absolutely like butt. like we Such had to use butt. discord right like yeah. we, we talked the, over discord this, that's right we talked over to. discord and you still have to use Discord, by the way. Spoiler alert: like you can use the Nintendo app, but it get, it's absolute butt. It's straight butt. It, it is butt. It. I will give Elliot that it is butt. Oh, so well, there's still there's still no way just to hop into a party on the Switch and kind of chat with your buddies while you play. Well, correct on Fortnite, yes, but that's not so Fortnite. It's but that's on specific. Fortnite, right? It's game, it's game yes. specific. Yeah. So it all depends on the game. And Fortnite uh, does it right. Of, by the way, most of the games on Nintendo Switch, no, it you, people use Discord. Which, so it is, see, it is okay. So technically, it is possible, but Nintendo doesn't have anything in their UI that allows for it. It has to live within a multiplayer game. Correct. 
Okay. 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 And, and as far as like this, I'm just trying to clarify things cause I just don't know. Uh, as far as this new Bluetooth support, uh, to, to utilize Bluetooth, you have to have Bluetooth tech like built in. Right. Correct. And yep. so are they, did they like, uh, kind of do it through the, the controller? Bluetooth? I think so. Like, cause the controllers and, were Bluetooth too. So they wedged the functionality onto that. So can you use both the head buds sets or whatever the hell and your pro controller at the same time? Yes. Is that, that's okay. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. There was um, a dongle you could buy previously that you would put into the headphone jack on the switch. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Is Joe's that, holding one up. Yeah. Genki. Uh, yeah. Genki. <laughs> Listeners. That would, um, that would allow for that. And I was this close to buying one because buy uh, it, but I don't need to now. <laughs> I mean, why do I need it? Yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> but it works on other systems too. So like I oh, use it. What other systems don't have Bluetooth? Uh, don't well, they already no, have Bluetooth? I use it for streaming and it works like a charm. I don't know why. But you could use it works. as like an, in your aux, you could put it in your aux cord on like in your car and then use it that way too. Yep. Or, you, you know, you know, if you didn't have Bluetooth on, the controller. So, um, to answer your question, uh, uh, Bluetooth microphones are still not supported. Okay, so, so it's just that. so it's mainly just headphones now. Yes. That's cool. So if you're playing Fortnite on your Switch, you still have to have a wired headset with a microphone. You can't use your Bluetooth with a microphone. That I don't know. That's a very probably good question. though, right? Probably. Probably. Mm, interesting that's a, that's a very good question so yeah. to get back to joe's point like 2017 march 2017 is when the switch came out right yeah four four and a half years ago sure right is this too late does this does this convince anyone to get a switch now well that, that's, the, that's <laughs> right? the other side of it right so again what is, is 80 is it 87 million 87 million sold yeah. shit, i got shit sold. i got two man all right right so <laughs> I, I i feel like if they sold 13.2 million Wii U and then was like, hey, here's this Bluetooth feature. And then it skyrocketed to 87 million. Sure. But these motherfuckers sold 87 million without Bluetooth, without any voice chat, without any online chat at all. And I don't I just don't get like just say that and and they didn't even like announce it. Like if there wasn't leaks. It just happened. It just happened. Like they announced it, and then 40 minutes later, I put it in our Slack. Like, that's how they just was like, last night, here you go. Here's this tweet. We added Bluetooth. See you guys later. And so then, obviously, all the, you know, finally, finally, finally. Like, how late is too late? Like, shouldn't you be happy that they fucking added it anyway? Because they weren't going to. I mean, it depends how important the feature is to you. Like, if you're like... Oh, finally, my car has brakes. It's been it's been <laughs> like two months. Yes, yes the like, old you're like oh, finally, analogy. my car has yes. brakes. It's been two months. Versus like, oh, finally, my car got like a goose holder. My goose has just been loose in the back seat. Like, that's not as <laughs> ah, important. Yes, the old goose analogy. <laughs> <laughs> Come at me, bro. Um, <laughs> like, it's like proportional to how much it matters. This is. It seems like this is just like. Oh, this is a nice feature. Like, we it's been it's probably been kind of annoying. I have to have headphones you can plug in if you want to like listen on headphones as you're playing, as sure. opposed to listen on Bluetooth. So it just like to me, it seems like a little upgrade, and they're just like, oh, we had time to do this. Like, I mean, it's a nice okay, quality so, of life feat, uh, add-on, right? It's a nice yeah. quality of life, right? Sure. S- so yeah, I, I stabilize my this. switch some more with your update. Add me Bluetooth. You know, my switch is super stabilized now. I mean, like, like what. Like we always say, Nintendo marches to their own drum, and yeah. there's not anything anybody's going to do to change Nintendo. I mean, they didn't just not come out with those other things. There's all sorts of standard thing, like features that are standard across the rest of gaming that they were just like, nah, like trophies and achievements. Nah, <laughs> we're not doing that. Mm-hmm. You know, like Fuck every trophies. other... Every yes, other yes, uh, Joe, yes, yes. Yeah, fuck, but trophies, I mean, fuck and achievements, fuck yes. trophies and achievements, fuck you and your participation. People, what are you gonna get? Love this Nothing. so I hard. Know. I don't get it. I, Why? I don't, under, I don't get it either. <laughs> Why? People I don't, will not buy your game if it doesn't have it. Right, yeah. right. I'm not saying that I'm a trophy guy, but I'm saying mm-hmm. it is like every other platform has it. Like right. mm-hmm. all of them, even 
Stadia. Even, like even they, they all had it. The nine whatevers that Eric had trophy. Yeah, and, and Nintendo was just like, <laughs> no, and and they show no, you know, intention of doing that. You know, like like uh, Hold online your ground, Nintendo. Online play, you know, like plug and play online play. Yeah. No, nah, we're just not doing that, you know. Um, so it's not surprising. So you know. Yeah, like I, I think I'm with everybody else. It's a nice quality of life feature that, you know, maybe people were asking for, maybe they weren't, but it's a nice little bonus. But I mean, when it comes down to it, like I, I own a Switch and I enjoy it, but it's not my primary platform and right. it, never, it never would be, you know, because it is missing all those things. So I like the Switch for A, Switch exclusive games that aren't anywhere yep. else yep. and and B, convenience, like travel or when I the kids are on the TV and I just want to lay on my bed and play a game, you know. Um, but due to its lack of full features, it would never be the only platform that I owned. Like I, I would never do that. If you can um, only pick one platform, how far down before your the switch makes your like your list? Like, we know it starts with Stadia, but then like below that, how far before it gets? <laughs> no, I, w- I would say Stadia is below below Switch. Actually, like I love I love Stadia, but it's got its own separate issues, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Um. I, so for me personally, I think it's probably, uh, PlayStation, then PC, then Switch. No then PlayStation. Then no then PCs then like Stadia. The and then and then Xbox and the only reason Xbox isn't higher is because I can get all the Xbox shit on the PC. Yeah. So yeah, PlayStation, PC Switch, then Stadia. And the only reason Stadia is not higher is just because the games are so limited and the future is kind of shaky. Yeah, and you know? Stadia will be gone in three years. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, I'll, I think I'll, for I'll, a lot I'll, of I'll, under wow. five, man. Under five before Stadia is gone. The, and there's why our. Uh... Viewership just lowered there. Because <laughs> for, for, we're so down on Stadia. No, all the Stadia I think, I think most audience. people are down on Stadia. Maybe it's because uh, some of us are pro just, Stadia. Punk, a lot punk, of a, punk, a lot of people, guy. though, are single <laughs> console people. Like a gaming console is really expensive. Like right. $300, yeah. 400 $500. Like this is a big investment. It's yeah. We're in a kind of a weird position to have multiple consoles you know, a lot of us, because we're, if we're streamers or writers about games, like, yeah, we, it makes sense we would have those. Those are our tools to do, like, our job. But if it's just one of your forms of entertainment and you also hang out with friends or, well, I mean, not in this day and age, but watch movies, yeah. um, go on walks, like, do those things. Like, it doesn't necessarily make sense to have, like, oh, yeah, Switch is, like, my sometimes console. It's like, well, you're spending $400 on, you know, something sometimes. you do occasionally. So if you are... Uh, if you're if normal you want to human play those being, Nintendo games. Which, <laughs> <laughs> if you want to play those Nintendo games, which are never going to show, you're never going to get those on a PlayStation. You're never going to get Breath of the Wild on a PlayStation. Then you're kind of like, well, I want to play those games, so I'll get a Switch. And then it's 2021. Your phone doesn't even have a headphone jack anymore. You've got Bluetooth headphones, and you're sitting and you're sitting in the bedroom trying to play your game when someone else is asleep. And you can't listen to it. Like it, I, I do see how this does have like. Pro, it's probably been really annoying for a lot of people. Gotcha. Like yeah. if if the whole thing is you can take it away from the TV, but you can't use what kind of headphones you probably have, then oh, there is that. Year old, pretty good year olds, ten year olds who are trying to play Switch in the middle of the night and not have their parents hear them playing Switch are ecstatic about this. No, one hundred percent. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Like, or like thirty I year olds were... whose ten year olds are in bed and they're trying, or whose three year olds are in bed and they're trying not to wake them up. Yeah, yeah. I I work Kids, uh, day job for a software company, so I I in my position I have a lot of influence over what features get added to the software, and so there are times when we add a feature to the software. And like 85% of the users are like, what the fuck? Like, why did you do like, what is the point of this? You know, <laughs> but 15% of the people really wanted and needed it. Like they had to mm-hmm. have it or else they were just going to bail and not use the software anymore. And maybe that's what's going on here with the switch feature. Like uh, maybe, you know, there's, there's a subset of users that like really had to have that shit, you know? <laughs> and so yeah. everybody else is kind of like, ah, what took so long? Blah. And, you know, Nintendo, maybe they just didn't think of it as something that they needed to go out the door with, you know? And then over time, it kind of came around and was like, yeah, this would probably be a good thing to do. Because, you know, mm-hmm. 2021. You know, well, that's like Nintendo Switch Online 
on Switch 2, maybe the Nintendo Switch Online stuff will be a little bit better. Like, you know, like Nintendo Switch Online is still dope to me. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Uh, I, they I don't mean, owe us shit. I can't <laughs> play Smash Online with friends. I can't play, I, I can't play Smash Online with friends, man. It's play, unplayable. Yes, what do you mean? It's unplayable. I I mean, you... it's terrible. It's laggy. I can barely talk to people. I have to get on Discord to talk to friends to play Smash Online. It's... Then I think that's a you problem. I have yeah. no problem. We just ran a whole four-hour tournament with Smash. No lag at all. We ran through the whole thing. I I, I streamed yeah. it. Um, no lag, no nothing. That, that's it. That, no, no, fuck y'all. Y'all got slow internet. <laughs> like, no. No, 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 no. You can definitely set all that shit up. That's just annoyance. And you're just annoyed. You want it easy. You want it easy. Yeah, I want it to Nothing worth having comes easy, I, Elliot. I, I, I think oh it's my a... God. That is a horrible <laughs> argument. What a yeah, horrible that argument. That was the worst. That was the worst argument I've heard you make for a long time. I, I, it's like, a luxury hobby product. <laughs> exactly. It's a luxury <laughs> product. Like, <laughs> yeah, fuck of me. You're right, Joe. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you. That's right. <laughs> fuck me. That's what fuck I wanted me. to hear. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I think we're done with that one. Oh, yeah, okay. I think we are. Um, oh, they also add a uh, added no, no, a um, <laughs> calibrate control sticks and a uh, you can now select whether the internet wireless connection is two point four or five gigahertz fre- uh, frequency. Oh wait, so, wait, wait, wait! They added yeah. calibrate control sticks. Yeah, that's been there. I've used that before. Yeah, they does they, it, it says does it, that, it might have to initiate calibrate control sticks in system settings. Does it From work? System settings go to controllers and sensors. Six, select calibrate control sticks. Fully tilt the control stick in any one direction and keep it tilted for a few seconds to begin calibration. Okay, so does so it work? That, like, like a couple I, years I, don't ago. I don't know. I don't know. Like that's know. the question because I had to bail on my Joy Cons. Like I had to buy cheapy Joy Cons, which actually I like better than the real Joy Cons. But uh, like my Joy Cons were shot. Like I can't play with them. It's like everything is impossible. It's one of those things where I come out the door and my guy just turns around and goes back in the door. What do you want, you know, Eric? Be- get over it. Come on. You want everything so easy. <laughs> Not the word happy comes Eric. easy, Eric. Don't Jesus you come Christ. at Nintendo? They've given you a hundred characters in Smash. Why do you want that's your controllers right. to work? <laughs> Need goddamn controllers? Play with your mind. <laughs> Pussy. Uh, it's funny. Uh, so, I kind of followed the Apple versus Epic kind of stuff when it first happened a while ago. Mm. Only because it, it has a lot of repercussions. So, um, I'll give you a little brief history. So, in August of 2020, so a year ago, Epic decided to bypass the Apple and Google Play stores and sell V-Bucks directly to consumers, which is not a thing you can do currently, right? Uh, If you want to get a Spotify subscription, for example, when you click that link, it takes you to a web browser to sign up for Spotify. You can't sign up in the app for Spotify because Google and Apple want their 30% cut of that. Epic thinks that's bullshit or thought it was bullshit. So they put a direct link in their game to sell you V-Bucks for 30% less than what you would buy if you did it through (laughs) Apple, right? That, in turn, violated the terms of service on both platforms, as shocking (laughs) as that is, right? Mm. (laughs) Apple and Google pulled the game immediately after that, and that's what Epic wanted, right? Epic wanted them to do that because, in turn, they sued them, right? Epic wanted it to happen, so they sued both companies over antitrust issues. They didn't sue them over the game not being on the platform, but over antitrust issues that essentially the stores are monopolies, right? Um, Epic wants alternative payment methods and more competitive rates, right? So that was what this legal fight was, right? Essentially, it was trying to solve... The court case was solving three issues, right? Um, Is What kind of market are we really talking about, right? Is this a video game market? Is this a digital market? Is this a digital mobile market? Is this just a transaction market, right? Is Apple a monopoly, right? Do they, is this walled garden of theirs, like, you know, a monopoly? And is this anti-steering rule, right, where you can't go buy your V-Bucks from other sources? Is that okay to do, right? Or is is it okay, right? So the first question I want to ask you guys is, like, what do you think of this 30% cut that Apple is taking? Do you think that's fair that Apple and Google get 30% of whatever you sell on the app store goes to Apple before it goes to anybody else? I don't like it. I mean, what is, what does fair even mean? <laughs> I well, mean, we're just lucky. Question, I, 
<laughs> we're just lucky. I mean, Apple has so many characters in Smash. It's a luxury product. We're just oh happy God. to be there. <laughs> um, um, I, I, I don't know. I feel like my opinion changes every week on stuff like this. Uh, in this particular case, I think uh, you want to roller skate in their rink then you gotta pay to get in i mean but there's no other rink there are other rinks what you there's no about? other apple store i mean i if you want an apple phone you have to buy apps through the app store you can't buy them anywhere else that doesn't make it a monopoly buy a different phone oh i see what you're saying so google like, you can download uh apks you don't have to use their play store it's open mm-hmm. source you, so you, you can don't have to it. right but but if you want to buy v bucks you have to give Google 30% of that. You're doing it on a Google device. Wait, so if you download the Fortnite APK, yep. just in the wild, loosey-goosey. Yep. But if you're going to buy stuff within that then, game, on that phone, they want 30% of that. Is that real? Yes. That's why they're suing. That's literally what the... I okay. They well, they they're, sued Apple. Apple. they're suing so Apple and Google. Too? Well, okay. they sued Google too. That case hasn't started yet. The Apple okay. one has started and finished now. Okay, yeah. that's a little different. That's a little different. If you're pulling the client for the game from outside of the Apple Store, but you can only buy the currency for that game through well, the can, Apple Store. You can buy it anywhere else. You can buy it on Epic, but we can't tell you where you can buy that at. We can't sell it for cheaper, right? If you're going to buy V-Bucks, you have to buy V-Bucks for the same price anywhere. Okay, so if I go to like a GameStop and right. buy V Bucks, yep, and I put that money into my Fortnite game, mm-hmm. does Apple get money off no. of that too? No, no, because you didn't do it through your Apple phone. But if you bought V Bucks on your iPhone, Apple wants thirty percent of that V Bucks. Does but my if I buy V Bucks if... anywhere else? Amazon, Target, GameStop, whatever. If I buy digital V Bucks, that's that's where are you the buying the digital V Bucks right? at? Are you buying the digital V Bucks on your iPhone? What is supposed to the physical V Bucks? <laughs> well, besides going to like the store and like buying the Like on a Safari browser or, or whatever. If you if you is install Firefox, if you install Firefox and then go onto the internet and buy V Bucks, no, they don't Google get their thirty percent. No, okay. okay. But if you're so doing it on the what, app, they do. Assume what? Okay, app? so so the I can Apple Fortnite app, right? If I, you want to play Fortnite on your phone and you buy okay. V Bucks on the app on on Fortnite. Yes. And Google's the same way. If you have an yes. Android phone <laughs> yes. and you download the APK from for from yes. Epic's website or from you Wherever. know uh, yeah. Mm. yeah, NDA or whatever, and then you get on Firefox and buy V Bucks. No. If you get on Firefox phone, from your phone. From your phone. Right. But that's a that's a phone app. But you're not in Wait, the what app. if you install you're, the app as in the game itself? If you're buying it through the game, right? Netflix. If you buy it through the game, it, uh, if you're gonna uh, get your a... Netflix subscription on your app, whether it's Apple or iPhone, they are taking thirty percent of that fee. If you're right. going on a website via browser, wherever phone, right. tablet, computer, they're not. Then wait, Got what's it. the difference between a between like the Firefox app on my phone, which is a browser, still is an app on my phone? It's like I downloaded an APK either from the Google Store or from Mozilla and used that Firefox app on my phone to access the internet to buy. This uh, is question V-Bucks. number one, right? This, this is the first point of the, that they're trying to, to assume. What you know, market kinda, is this? What market is, is this? It's kind of interesting because, okay, your Netflix analogy. So if I go to through Netflix on my Apple phone, and I subscribe there. It's fifteen ninety nine a month. It's the same price. It's the it same price, but Apple the same price. But yes. Apple gets thirty percent of that. Legally. Yes. But if I do it through my browser, it's fifteen ninety nine a month, and Apple doesn't get thirty percent. Correct. Which means that everybody Correct. else is paying for that thirty percent. Like the yes. price of that product is higher when you go to buy it elsewhere because that company needs to make up for that 30% that they're losing. Part of Apple's rules are you cannot raise the price of that 30%. Like I can't lower my price 30% on my web browser. You have to pay the same. And that's what Epic tried to do. They tried to discount their V bucks by 30% to compensate for the 30% that Apple was Uh getting through the store. No, I'm saying like, like just, just economics, like basically Mm -hmm. 
the uh, pr- the price across the board is going to rise yes. to compensate That's that the company argument. for that 30% that they're losing yeah. on those Apple subscriptions, right? right. So okay. if, if if Apple didn't do this, I'm not saying the price would come back down, but maybe it would That's like, what people cease, are saying. cease rising. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, that is interesting, but does Netflix... <laughs> well, yeah, I guess Netflix does kind of so need ne- to be Netflix, on Apple. Well, so there's, there's a difference. <laughs> yeah, they got They got to do it. Yeah. The, well, the so, but here, the though, difference. Then, sorry. Is so, I think we're about to say the same thing that if you go to sign up for Netflix, you can't do that in the app. It kicks you out to your browser. No, no, no. no. So Netflix. Know. Netflix is different. On Netflix, you do it in the app. Oh. You are giving thirty. But Spotify, Spotify. for example, it okay, kicks you out. One. It literally kicks you out to a web browser. Because Spotify is like, we cannot afford to lose 30% of this revenue. Yeah. We're going to kick you out to the browser. Good for Spotify. So everyone could kick you out to the browser because yes. of this crazy rule. But what they're saying is that's you're making you're now making it harder the, and next to impossible yeah. for the common folk to do so. And that's a very arbitrary distinction in my mind. Well, to that, you and me, it might be. But to somebody who, where that's millions of dollars in revenue, that's, you know, right. Because this is. Epic no, no, no. versus Apple, which is just big ass companies where they're losing 30%, which is a lot. Yeah. Well, I think their argument is that it's an arbitrary distinction, as you've explained it, that buying something through an app that you've downloaded to your phone versus buying something yeah. through a web browser, which is an app that you've downloaded to your phone, is somehow different. That distinction seems arbitrary to me. And now I'm mad. <laughs> so before the trial ended, and this was, I think, about a month ago, Apple lowered the 30% cut it was taking to 15%. If the developer was making less than a million dollars a year on that app. Okay. So it seems okay. like Apple right. knew that that was maybe a little bit much for some people already. It seems like they're kind of like, Oh, um, so to answer question number one, what kind of like suit, what kind of like suit is this really about? They label this as a digital mobile gaming transaction. So that's like loot crates, skins, V bucks, that kind of thing. Um, so it's not a monopoly in that sense because there's a lot of different like, avenues to get V box, like Joe said, or right. purchase skins, right? So that kind of went towards Apple in that decision, not necessarily a hundred percent on their side, but it kind of leaned towards Apple on that that front. So the right? question there that that you're answering, I, I didn't think I didn't quite understand the question. The question there is, they were determining in this suit, is the complaint about the app as a whole or is it about the market of the cosmetic so that's items the versus, okay and then they right. settled that we are only discussing the context of loot boxes and skins and yes that side okay. so is that a monopoly they cited with apple saying that no it's not that that epic did not prove that they are an illegal monopoly it didn't outright say that they're not a, not a monopoly but it's saying that they did not prove that in what they were trying to prove prove with this i, I right? think that's correct Right, I mean, I think because, you're right because you're of right, the Joe. the workarounds, because yeah. of the many workarounds that you you can go anywhere else. You don't have to give Apple shit. But okay. if you choose to go through Apple, they're going to get thirty percent. Like you have choices. The the mm-hmm. monopoly. I think the monopoly comes in right where they shut all that other shit down. The only way you can get V bucks is through Fortnite, and uh, for Apple users, the only way you can get V bucks through Fortnite. <laughs> Is through Fortnite. That's where the monopoly comes in. Okay, right? so let me ask you this, then, Joe. Okay. The next question, the third question, the anti-steering rule, right? I'm not allowed to be like, hey, you can go to the web browser. Hey, there are other avenues to purchase V Bucks, right? Not just through the in-app store. That was illegal. That sounds illegal. That is That's... the part that they are violating. So <laughs> that, you, that they're so, not allowed, or they're just not doing. Like it's so. Not, it's not. I, I'm not allowed to tell you. I'm not allowed to tell you. You can go I'm not get your Spotify. You. Account. I'm not allowed to tell you. You can get your Netflix account online. I'm not allowed to tell you. You can do that. You can do that, but I can't talk about it. I can't tell you that, and I can't charge you a different price there, because that's not fair to me. And that seems that, that seems like was really. Over. Really yes. overstepping okay. their bounds, like that. That that seems to be. Yeah, that's. I think that's where it's mafia shit. Well, that is proven, and they have now have ninety days, uh, as of last week, last Friday, I believe, to change that. Okay. Currently. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. That works. How come? Do you if you and if you don't know this, I, I don't know why I'm grilling you. Like you. No, you're fine. Lawyer, I but... <laughs> I read a lot today about it cool, because cool, I was cool. trying to make sure then... I like sounded like I kind of knew. 
so under this anti-steering rule that has been ruled illegal, how come that could be in place for something like Fortnite, where Epic wasn't allowed to say, oh, you can just buy the V-Bucks online or buy them from GameStop, but Spotify could just redirect you to the browser and let you purchase your Spotify subscription through that. My understanding is they didn't say anything about it. They just said, click this. It just clicks you to the link and just sets automatically opens the browser and just shows, says, Hey, Oh, there, there's the information. So they did it programmatically. The people who don't yeah. know, right. The people who don't know they can't do it. will never know that they can't do it. Yeah. Like got it. Okay. Yeah. You can't talk about it. Right. It's like, you know, Fight see some, you know, <laughs> don't ask, don't tell kind of thing. Like, right. It's sure, just, sure. it's there. So you weren't allowed to present options. What's the right. thing? And but you weren't allowed to make prices different either. Browser. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The Senate and South Korea, South Korea recently just said that app Whoa, stores what? can't do what they're doing. So the stuff like this court case, essentially, if it was in South Korea today, would have sided with Epic on all three fronts. Sure. <laughs> right. The Senate is working on a bill that is very similar that would essentially have given Apple the win, or excuse me, Epic the win on all three fronts as well. Right, so it's so, definitely something that is coming. Say that again. Did we skip the second front? Number one was like, what kind of markets are we talking yeah. about? We number two is, is is it a monopoly? Oh, and number is three monopoly? is cool. the cool. anti-steering rule. Okay, so um, interesting. So if the if the Senate passes this new bill or whatever it is, yeah. will they have to relitigate this, yeah. or yeah. will it just automatically be like Apple eats crow and goes back on everything? It would probably be that Apple is going to eat crow in some capacity, right? It sounds like the wall garden scenario is kind of slowly going to go away in some, or at least have windows installed onto it, right? Uh, or doors, if you will. Don't put windows, <laughs> don't put windows on my iPhone. <laughs> So it sounds like there will be other avenues other than that. And Epic, my understanding is they wanted to create their own app store on iOS. But they can't. Ah, 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 no. Well, they're going to now, Joe. They're allowed to. Now they're essentially allowed to. So they can take like the Epic or... they can take the Epic Game Store. That sounds yeah. like what they're trying to do in some capacity and are going to have some minor success. It sounds like they're going to continue to push the boundaries of this. Okay. So they they won their part and now they're going to stick it to them even further and go not only do you have to disclose that you can get these v-bucks anywhere but we're going to give you our apple store where you can also get v-bucks here's an extra option fuck you that's, apple is that what sounds is like that was happening yes but that's, having that's said amazing. that fortnite is still not on the app store as of yet. <laughs> so you know <laughs> that's what they're saying they want to do but like apple's also like no uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah i mean Again, so will we yeah. see in-app purchases? Will things become thirty percent cheaper? I personally doubt it. Right? I don't think that things nah. are going to magically become cheaper even a little bit. Nah, nah. You know, that, I think some people Apple are just be... collects less money for their new camera on their iPhone thirteen. Like, yeah. yeah. We can the can we diagonal this time so it looks new? Can we just take a second and appreciate for one moment the insane journey of Epic over the last Absolutely like ten years? Insane, right? Like. <laughs> just insane they were developing fortnite and do you remember what it was originally it was not what yeah. it is now it was it that is. nope it was that Sur- like, like build, build the yeah. fort and survive the onslaught the night. every night yeah. yeah yeah and 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 then at the last minute they just shoved the battle royale in there like here's a weird little thing we it. can do Let's they just finally that added the f- they finally added battle royale Fuck. and now they're <laughs> taking down Unlocked. apple Right, like, right, like paying millions of dollars to give us all games for free all the time, like right. just totally not to they, be Charlie print, Sheen about oh, it, but just winning, you know, yeah. like just like it really, really incredible crazy. journey. Yeah, they print fucking money, putting Ryu and Ariana Grande in their game, and people are like, "Oh shit, I gotta get and this right, in!" And I'm and like, right. Martin "What?" King. Hey, and Martin Luther King, he's Martin Luther oh. King. Yeah, the Martin, that Martin what? Luther King thing was. That was really. It was not. I didn't hear about it was that. not the moment. Oh. It was not oh, the wait. move. Like they okay, did an MLK skin. I, I'm gonna go oh, so far no, as to no, call it that. A skin. It was oh, a misstep. God. Okay, good. Because it was a misstep. Like, <laughs> it was a very huge misstep. They put like a Martin Luther King. Uh, I have a dream. Zim. 
the yeah. Eisenhower, yeah, like whatever, hmm. and you can go to it. But then, obviously, you know, people online are assholes, so <laughs> they're online. dancing, they're, they're dancing, dancing in front of while it. he's doing the <laughs> I, I have a dream speech, and Epic was like, "Well, fuck." I <laughs> but I mean, yeah. you had to know. Come on, what the fuck? Yeah, nice, nice thought. Nice try. Perhaps not fully thought through. Yeah, it's like the Senate in Kente Claw. Come on, stop it, <laughs> <laughs> stop it. Anyway, moving on. Sorry. Sorry, Eric. Did you bring anything to share with us this week? Um, I mostly just wanted to talk about uh, the Artful Escape, yeah. which is uh, a game uh, Annapurna published uh, this week, and I, I I was so impressed with it. I was just af- <laughs> Max is dying. I was just. Is that a hiccup? <laughs> Are you going to hiccup? Are you going to hiccup the rest of the show? Because that would be fantastic. Hmm? <laughs> no. no, I just had one. Okay. All right. Is that a thing that happens to people? Just one. I just have yeah. one hiccup. No, no, yeah. that doesn't happen. No, people do not just have one hiccup. I don't have the hiccups. It was I mean, just come it wasn't me, a hiccup. <laughs> oh, all right. It's a weird, weird gatekeeping, but all right. Wow. <laughs> At least a hiccup gatekeeper now. Yeah. Damn. One. Says I'm Stop. not a writer. <laughs> you're, not a, you're, you're a horseback rider, not a rider. Remember, yeah, rider. So, uh, right, so artful escape. The artful escape. Okay, so basically, what happened was Joe had a copy of the game to stream, right? Mm. And he streamed, uh, what, like an hour, hour and fifteen hour and minutes of the game, yeah. yeah, something like that. <clears throat> so I was checking out his stream after the fact, and I was kind of scrubbing through, and I was like, okay, so. This beginning, it looks a little bit like a Wes Anderson film, you know, and then I jumped ahead like 15 minutes and I was like, fuck, like we're on the cover of a Journey album. Like it just like went (laughs) bonkers. And I was like, oh, my God, like what happened in this game? And so I jumped ahead like another 15 minutes and there's all these like fantastic planet like animals, you know, and the guy's like jamming on his guitar. And I was like, what on earth is going on on this game? So I. I saw that it was on Game Pass, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to just download this and see. So I didn't watch any more of Joe's thing because I didn't want any more spoilers. So I downloaded it from Game Pass, and I played through it. It took me like maybe three or four hours to get through the whole thing, but I liked it so much I went ahead and wrote a review for it, and it's up on the site now. I gave it a Mm -hmm. 9 out of 10. It is bonkers. It is like the most batshit crazy game in, in the most wonderful way. Uh, I've played in a really long time. So basically it centers on this guy, Francis and Francis is the nephew of this like Bob Dylan level folk singer guy. Right. And the guy's Mm -hmm. dead. And for the 20th anniversary of his big album release, they hire Francis to play a show and he's only supposed to play his dead uncle's folk songs. But Francis deep down in his heart is the David Bowie freak show who just wants to shred and dress in pantyhose, right? Like he just is like, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not this guy. I'm not sure I want to do this. I'm not sure if I want to be this guy. So while he's kind of contemplating whether he should break out of his shell or just be this folk singer guy forever, all of a sudden aliens show up and they're just like, yo, <laughs> we detected your freakitude from outer space. You got to come with us because there's some shit going down in outer space. We need you to jam. We have this interstellar concert going on. You're going to be the opening act. Let's roll. And they just transport him up to the spaceship. And the rest of the game is Francis kind of bouncing with this crew on the spaceship from like planet to planet on this big interstellar galactic adventure, like slowly learning to let his freak flag fly. You know, and so it's it's a very kind of simple game to play. There's like some really mild platforming, like so mild, I would hardly even call it platforming. Like you run in one direction and occasionally jump over a log like it's like real simple. Mm-hmm. But there's this button you can hold down while you're doing it. And if you do that, then Francis wails on his guitar while you're doing the platform and the whole background just changes. The whole thing just comes to life and like animals wake up and they come out of the background and flowers bloom and pollen flies and rainbows shoot and fireworks go off and it just goes insane. And it's like that for the entire game. 
And every now and then you enter into like a guitar battle or a boss battle or you do a concert. And then it's just like a real simple rhythm game. Like the boss yeah. does the little pattern and you just follow it on your controller. And that's kind of it for the mechanics yeah, it of the game. Yeah, doesn't have to be rhythmically. Um, yeah, you don't have to follow it rhythmically. Yeah, you can just like <laughs> clang on it however you want. And every now and then it just opens up the guitar so you can like make little songs while you're running around. But for the most part, the game is just all about like the music and the spectacle and the just, you know, glorious cosmic rock freak show in space. And it's absolutely fantastic, you know, and and without losing track of the fact that it's about this guy learning to kind of overcome people's perceptions of him and do his own thing instead of being forced to follow in his uncle's footsteps. And uh, just fantastic. 100% 100% recommended. If you have Game Pass, fully download it. Like, and really, not really. Long. Not super long. No. Nice. Like, like three or four hours tops. And, uh, yeah, like, really, really worth it. What did you think of it, Joe? I, um, I, it was, so, I, I didn't know it was more, it, it, it's, it's just like the game says, it's more of an artful escape than anything else. It's, <laughs> you literally are watching, it's fully voice acted, like, every person you talk to has something to say. Like, and you go, you're, 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 you're watching, you're controlling a movie, essentially. Yeah. And you, you go through and you wail on the guitar and the backgrounds, they, they respond to the guitar play. The game was phenomenal. I just ran out of time. But I I feel like I would have went through the whole the whole the whole damn thing, cause I was just like, what am I looking at? This is insane. Yeah. But it was a good insane. It was it was it was crazy. Like it was it was phenomenal. I would. It was very trippy, but it was phenomenal. I would love to give somebody shrooms and just be like, play this. <laughs> play this just, right now. You just sit down right here and you play this. <laughs> right. I'd like laugh and cry and freak out and crawl in the bathtub. Like but, it's just like this, it was. it's just this kaleidoscope. <laughs> and it, the other thing that I failed to mention is that it's really funny. Like there are like lines in it that are just drop dead funny. It's, it's, it's really well written. And sometimes it surprises you with just this random shit that happens. And uh, yeah, all around good Carl, times. Carl Weathers and Jason Schwartzman are two of the voices. Mark in the Strong game. is in it too. I saw. Yeah, Mark yeah, Strong is in it too. So, yeah. it's it's uh, you're it's it's, it's damn good. Where's Carl Weathers here? is fantastic. He calls yeah, you he, he calls you young blood through the whole game. <laughs> Come on, young, young blood. blood. <laughs> <laughs> are we gonna fight later, Apollo? Are we gonna hit golf balls? <laughs> you know, it's so it was so good, so good, and yeah. uh, you know, again, Anna Pierna. Is that is that how you pronounce Annapurna? A- A- Annapurna. They do. Annapurna. They they like distribute films they, too. Yeah. And, and then they have oh, their. Uh, that's... Yeah, this is where you probably recognize the logo yep. from is from the beginnings of movies. Um, <laughs> but then they have their their game publishing branch as well, and and pretty much like anything that they touch, you can count on it being like a weird and b mm-hmm. good. You know, like they they <laughs> right. they have really kind of exquisite taste in finding good weird shit. So that's all. I just uh, wanted to praise awesome. it for five minutes. Yeah. yeah. It looks, I Googled some pictures of it. It looks absolutely beautiful. No, it, it, I'm definitely going to download it after this and play it this weekend. Yeah. The art style is uh, just amazing. Especially after I finish my thing. So. Uh, can we pause for a second? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to go. So, cool. um, just send me do you your... want me to say my name and then send it over? That would be perfect, actually, Joe. Yeah. Do you want to like? Okay. Do you want to like do a bit where like someone comes into your room and like abducts you and we're like, oh, that's weird. Uh, <laughs> like audio placed audio drama style. We, or, like, we, you're like, we oh, can no, do it a shark. You. Oh no, a shark! Ever... Is that a shark and Bigfoot? Oh no! Is, is that what you want me to do? I can do that right now. <laughs> you should do that. <laughs> that's what you would like. All right, Elliot, you got to cut all this out. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah. Like, no, it's great. I love how we're making me more work. You're not gonna do it. You're not gonna do it. No, I have to now because it sounds absolutely terrible. No, no, it's gonna be. Oh my god! No, I'm just kidding.
He never but cuts out anything he says he's going to cut out. He doesn't. That's not <laughs> true. I do sometimes. I cut out you my stuff. Not. I will cut out stuff when I like try to interrupt people. I'll mute myself so it doesn't sound like I interrupted people, so I sound yeah. smarter. <laughs> 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 Fuck you guys. I absolutely do that. <laughs> I sound fantastic on this show. If people listen to this thinking, God damn, I can't believe Ellie puts up these three dumbasses a week after week. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, you're doing the editing work. You deserve it. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah, I don't need your. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oh, the, now you're definitely you know keeping all this. Yeah, like fuck it, Joe's yeah, leaving. Just leave it all in. I'm leaving. Keep all this shit right now. Do the bit. Uh, all right. I know. I... <laughs> all right, get out of here. All right, Joseph. Goodbye. Take I'm out of here. Bye, See man. Later. Thanks, man. <laughs> so, Max, do you have like slippy toad lore for us this week, or? Uh no, I totally thought today was Tuesday. I didn't prepare anything. <laughs> But I'm glad you came in with two things. You said that in the intro, and I'm like, oh, perfect. <laughs> well, what's your other thing, Elliot? We can I use had, that to wrap uh, well, up. Well, we could talk about Sony, the Sony PlayStation Showcase. Uh, oh, there was a oh, yeah. list of stuff that, that I found. Yeah, that was big. I thought, that was good. Yeah, I thought so, too. Um, so I'll just go down the list of things, and you can stop me, or I'll stop myself. First thing, Knights of the Old Republic. I can, I'm yeah. super excited. Oh, yeah. I wrote the story on it on Gaming Nexus, but for me, uh, let me just talk for a minute about how I bought this game on a whim because it was Star Wars. I just wanted a Star Wars game. I bought it in the summer and I had nothing to do. I literally played it from like five or six o'clock at night until three, four in the morning. The very first, in one, in the first sit down. My first sit down was like nine hours long. I, I was entrenched in this game. There was just something about I got it in the summer. I didn't have anything to do, right? Like it just hit perfectly for me. And that first nine, 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 ten hour session was just like magical to me. It's one of those moments that I wish other people could experience in a game, right? And I know it's a moment that I cannot re-experience when I buy it mm-hmm. again for the fourth or fifth time because I have bought this game. <laughs> uh, I have it. I bought it originally on the Xbox. I have it on my iPad. I think I have it on computer as well now. Like I have it three or four different ways already. I will be buying this again. Beyond excited. <laughs> Everything about this game is perfect. I've played it three or four times to completion. So one thing we don't do a lot on this show is when we bring up a game, uh, explain what it is. But I'd like to do that for this one because uh, I'm pretty sure it's not this now. But for years, I've thought this was like an MMO that you played on like an old like Windows 95 computer. It kind it, of it, it can be so. Okay, there's just two games. Uh, you're thinking of Star Wars: The Old Republic, yes. the MMO, and that does oh, exist. That's not Knights of the Old Republic. No, no. they're different. But it is kind of like yeah. yes, but it's kind oh. of like a spinoff ish. They're both it. Bioware games, but the Star Wars: The Old Republic is still in existence. It's yeah, still, and it's still relatively oh. popular. Actually, and it is still popular. Yeah, isn't it from like uh, 2001 or something? Like, no, you're Super thinking Old, right? of Star Wars Galaxies, which is easily oh confuse it because it does look very similar yeah that one was <laughs> that one was kind of like an everquest clone yes whereas okay. this and one not is, very is, is much more modern um so the old and, republic and... came out first as an mmo no no knights no. of the old republic no? Yeah, no okay so knights of the old republic came out what first. year uh that's a good question i wrote it in the article <laughs> i was uh i was in high school so it was either my junior or senior year so either 2004 or 2005 i want to say yeah, okay. it was the first Around that time. So, so, so a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. The first game that I bought for 360, and it's not a, it wasn't a 360 game, but 360 no. had backwards compatibility, and I was a PlayStation mm. guy up until I bought my 360, and so I bought Fallout 3 and I bought Knights of the Old Republic because I wanted to go back and play because I had never had a chance. Oh, and so uh, it is, it's a fantastic game, and I can't wait to see what they're doing with it. You know, like it's it's going to be spectacular. So if it's not an MMO, what is it? It's I've like heard an it's RPG. Good, that's like all I know. Yeah. Are you familiar okay. with um? Are you familiar with Mass Effect or Dragon yeah. Age? From the, yeah, passingly. I <laughs> mean, Knights of the Old Republic literally was the precursor to those games. It's like the template okay. that those games are built on. Yeah. More or less. Okay, because those Bioware games have sort of become almost. Well, I think they're kind thing. of genre defining. Yeah, I think there. you're right. Yeah. And Knights of the Old Republic was the first of that. It was their first okay. one in that direction. Because cool. you could play, I mean, literally you could play a Jedi or a Sith. And you got to pick, mm. or a mixture, right? So there was that element. The story to this game is just like one of the best Star Wars stories 
no matter what side you end up picking either i it's just phenomenal cool. um and and it's it's one of those games that the lore the canon has carried over slowly leaked into like the new official <laughs> canon which is kind of cool to me um, yeah because like the bad guys in this game malik and revan and all that and um are just all it's all fan they're all fantastic all the characters in this game um the party that you create like you it's such a struggle to choose which ones to leave on the ship because like you have the the android that's like a murder death android and he's his one liners are so good that you want him in the party but like then you have like the Bastila the the Jedi like she there's just so many good characters that it's hard to pick and choose in that game it's and if you haven't played it it is absolutely worth your time it's worth buying it on any like uh platform that you can get it on cuz it's on everything now yeah do you think so do you think like buy the old version and play it or do you think wait ooh I'm interested to see how this version holds up because again, mass effects come dragon ages come since then. Like they've, they've really fine tuned that style of game into something different. So I'm, I am interested to see how it holds up other than just looking really nice. You know, I wonder if <laughs> the gameplay elements still hold up If the, I'm, I'm sure the story still holds up, but you know, I'm the, do the dialogue trees still like, am I still like believable to me? You know? So right. it'll be interesting. Is, I, I don't do, know, though. That's a good question. I don't I don't know the answer to that. Do we know to what extent it's like a remake versus like a reimagining? Oh, it's from the like, ground. My understanding is from the ground up. So it's going to mm-hmm. I don't know. What well, I mean, they could or... s- still hew very close. Like the Demon yeah. Souls remake was remade from the ground up by Bluepoint. But it is was it really you know, close very, to... very, very faithful. It... Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. It barely diverges even like in small ge- geometry of the level. Like oh, really? it's very faithful. So like there's that it could still be, it was still built from the ground up. So like, or they could be adding whole new systems or completely redoing okay. combat. I assume the combat. Yeah. It, it's a light. You got to have a lightsaber, man, please. <laughs> the best. It, and getting your lightsaber is so cool how they do it. It's just like, everything <laughs> about it was everything about it. So, but all yeah. we really have is a trailer. They just were like, Oh, Hey, we're making it. Maybe you'll see it mm-hmm. sometime. Yeah, see you in 2025. Yeah. Which is- <laughs> that's It'll be until then before I can get a PS5 anyway, so. Yeah. Um, there was Project Eve. I watched the trailer, but I don't even remember. It didn't catch my attention very much. So The I whole time I was watching that trailer, I was thinking, Parasite Eve. This is Parasite Eve. They're remaking Parasite Eve. It's going to be great. And then, like, they call the character Eve, and I was like, it's Parasite Eve. They're doing it. They're doing it. Parasite Eve, for those that don't know, is a uh, Square Soft game on the PS1. Game, right? Yeah. 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 It came out like right after Final Fantasy VII or maybe a year later. It doesn't have anything to do with Parasite Eve, right? No, it doesn't have anything to do with Parasite <laughs> Eve. And the trailer totally looks like it is the Parasite Eve remake. And so, uh, yeah, I was I was mad at that one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there was Tiny heard... Tina's Wonderland. Oh, sorry, Max. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh, you're good. I, I was going to say, I heard someone just say Paris or uh, Eve was like, I saw a headline of someone describing it as a cross between Nio and Dark Souls. And I was like, well, those are already the same game. Like, <laughs> those right. are already like so close. <laughs> what? Is, okay. So it's just another one of another like Dark Souls influenced action game. It's like a cross between Cheerios and Honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like I said, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, which is uh, it's like a Borderlands spinoff, but it's more um, fantasy from my understanding. The trailer looked really good to it. I, I'm i definitely interested in that. It looks weird. Yeah, I'm not really a Borderlands yeah. guy. I always end up oh, bouncing really? off of those. Yeah, Have you done it with people? Borderlands is fun when you can get three other people to play with you. And yeah, and I it. don't. It's a blast. Like, I just try to play it by myself every time. Oh, and then I'm no, like, that's, eh. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I don't think it, I think they're not very good single player games, but I think they're fun to goof around with friends a lot. Yeah. Imagine there trying was, to get three other people together in one place. That oh, that's the impossible. problem, though, man. That's, <laughs> that's the problem I have. The older I get, the harder it is to play Dungeons mm-hmm. and Dragons in person. Yeah, we couldn't even like, keep online. Joe for a full yeah. podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Four Spoken, which is uh, Square Enix's new game. Ooh, that looked, that looked nice. That, yeah, it looks it real good. Real pretty, like yeah. an an interesting character, and yeah, yeah, I thought that looked really cool. Uh, Rainbow Six Extraction stuff. Okay, I, the more I see of that game, the less excited I get for it. I'm just like, not a just, Rainbow Six guy. I just don't engage yeah. with that. I want to. I want to be good at that game. I'm just not. I but I. I think it's cool that some people can be like, have a KD of like three, 
you know, three death, three kills to every one death or something. That's like anyway. Uh, let's see. There was Alan Wake, an Alan Wake, uh, Alan Wake remastered, which I'm very excited about. Those are great games. Both of those I really enjoyed. Um, Alan Wake and is it American American Nightmare? Nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. No, nothing. I don't know what those are. Oh, they're, um, I've heard the name before. So early remedy, early remedy games. So the people that okay. made Control. Um, okay. So it was an Xbox 360 exclusive for the longest, for a long time. and so what this is the first time. It what impact did it have? Uh, it's an interesting, like, he, very story driven, yeah, cool he's a soundtrack. Horror. It's like a horror. Yeah, yeah. He's coming into the town. He's solving a mystery. It's kind, kind of, of is parallel. Vibes. Yeah, it's parallel to some book that he wrote. Yeah, and that right. your weapon in the game is a flashlight. You get attacked that's by like right. shadow yeah. creatures yeah, yeah, yeah. and you have to blast, like shine your flashlight on them to kind of like huh. take them down. Cool. Um, so, yeah, it, it's it's interesting. Um, I remember I played through the first one and liked it and didn't get all the way through the second one. Same. But they're not very long either, if I'm not mistaken. Like You could hmm. get it in a couple of sit downs. Yeah, so Control released a uh, DLC that had Ellen Wake in it. So there's some like oh. crossover, crossover <laughs> between those two. So that probably cool. was leading up to this. Uh, let's see. There's Grand Theft Auto stuff. Cool. Um, <laughs> they announced they're coming out on PS5 too. But then yeah. it got pushed back. It even got pushed back further. So oh, that's what they just listen. <laughs> like oh, sorry, the game's not ready yet. You're like oh, okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> um there was a trailer for marvel's guardians of the galaxy which looks great it does still look good next yeah next month i'm excited for it. it it looks like it's tailoring itself closer to the comics and how the characters look and act than the movies which i'm fine with because i'm kind of a comic book guy um vampire the masquerade blood hunt which is already out uh on pcs coming to the playstation 5 sometime this year uh, i've heard it's okay I yeah, I don't know much passing, about it. That's all I kind of know. Um, they had a trailer for Deathloop, which is already out, which uh, looks phenomenal, which I had a PlayStation 5. I absolutely want to play that. It's on my list when I get a PlayStation 5 to get to. Yeah, we have a couple of guys working together on the review for that. We, we got it kind of late in the game. Um, and yeah, it was, that's, was that the code I got randomly sent to me? Was that the game that randomly got sent to me that I no. sent you the code for? Oh, no. it wasn't? No. I couldn't remember which game it was. I was like, I, I got a, I know I got a PlayStation five game. I was like, why are you sending me this? Who are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I mean, thank you. I wish I had a PlayStation five, but no. please continue to send me free codes. Then. <laughs> LV, e Hildebrand at gaming nexus. Com, please let me know. All of you I know you're all developers hoping I'll drop my email. But yeah, well, the review is coming, but by all accounts, it's a fantastic game. Sounds like it. Yeah. I feel like I'm missing out on not having that game. Yeah, me too. Uh, let's see. There was, uh, is it? I'm not going to pronounce it correct. Is it Ticha? Tichaya? Oh, the little oh, island, yeah. like the island farmy thing. thing. Yeah, it yeah. looks yeah, it looks dope. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, it does look cute. Yeah. Is uh, that the one that's set in like New Caledonia? I'm trying New to remember. New Caledonia. If, that yeah. one, if that's that one, or if that's a yeah. different one that I've been following. No, I think that's the one. Yeah, I've been keeping my eye on that for a while. It's I've kind of an open world, exp- like yeah. just kind of like do what you want, right? Um, yeah, very much in that Nintendo esque explore a cool island. Lots of like small, cute interactions. Yeah, it when you look at it, it definitely looks like it's kind of tailored towards a younger audience. Just in the looks, it kind of looks. It looks like Sesame Sesame Street ish. Like I, I don't <laughs> know what I mean, but or like like. Toon Disney kind of look to it, and I don't mean that in a bad way. It just that's kind of like the vibes I'm getting. It's very colorful. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean I... Uncharted stuff. No, go ahead. Sorry. Cool. Oh, I was just gonna say. I mean, that's what they said about. This. That's about what they said about Wind Waker, and yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Like, yeah, yeah. But that the Wind Waker thing was interesting because like the first images you got of the new Zelda game, you're like, oh, this looks like a hardcore like realistic looking Zelda oh, game. Like, and then they're like, oh, here. That wasn't the game at all. That was just a tech yeah. demo. Yeah. 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 And you're like, oh, I, I think there, I think a lot of that was like people felt duped or like a switcheroo. Or just place angry on, teens. You know, cause the, the tech demo. Yeah. Well, the tech demo looked cool. I remember being young and being like, oh, this looks so cool. I can't wait. And then 
and they actually showed the new Zelda being like, oh, this is really different. And I was not excited at first, and then I played it. And I like loved it, but you know. Anyway, uh, Uncharted information. There's new like um, Legacy of Thieves collection coming out, which I I like the Uncharted games. I played through all of them. I Me too. I played fun. through every single one of them. I think they're there fantastic. Yeah, I think my wife actually sat and watched me play through them because she was like, "This story is like really like good." Oh yeah, like, yeah, they, yeah. You know? they, the stories yeah. are fantastic, and the performances are like like it's like a movie. It's fantastic. It's great. My wife uh, played Grand through them Turismo all on like the seven. normal difficulty, oh, and you? then to unlock, so she could play through them all again a second time on the like crushing difficulty or whatever. Oh, like oh. the super duper You're... hard mode. It was intense to watch. Your wife's got it like that. Like she she can do that. Like <laughs> yeah. I can't do that. Like <laughs> I didn't yeah, realize your wife was a gamer. Nice. Yeah, more, more than me. I mean, <laughs> oh wow. Neither of us play a ton of video games, but like I'm so busy making them, she might sometimes play more. Huh? That's cool. It's cool. Uh, let's we'll see. Gran Turismo Seven, March fourth, twenty twenty two. Looks cool. Racing. Yeah, it looks fine. Uh, and then the last three things that really caught my eye: the Wolverine announcement. I'm sure oh. it's going to be a fantastic game. Oh, yeah. Yes. I bet they haven't even started making it yet, if I had to be honest, though. Probably not. <laughs> Definitely but not. That'll be very cool. Um, Spider-Man 2, that'll make me buy a PlayStation 5 mm-hmm. for sure. That one actually made me yell at the computer a little bit. <laughs> like, I, I actually was like, oh, oh, like already, you How know, cool like so soon after Miles, Mora- Miles Morales. Multiplayer, oh one person plays as Peter, one person plays as Miles. How cool oh, would that be? Would be the coolest. Oh, would be Just or, the and coolest. even like Venom. Uh, it looks like um, Craven is going to be the bad guy in that, which Craven oh. is so like underused in all of the recent like stuff. Like I haven't seen him in a minute. Uh, yeah, right. And Has I, he ever even been in a movie? No, mm. he's rumored to be in the new Venom movie in some capacity, huh. like in a maybe even a, a small like appearance, but. It's like rumored or Morbius. That's I think the one that he's rumored to be in is Morbius. Um, oh. That's still oh. coming out with Jared I, Leto. I forgot that movie existed. That. It's been yeah. delayed so, so much. They, they forgot too. Don't worry. <laughs> Jared Leto was was unsure of it too. Um, and then there was God of War Ragnarok, which looks fantastic. Even though Thor is yeah. super fat and all the internet people are super upset about it. But. Yeah. Eh, I don't know. It might be one of those things where a couple people were upset and a b- bunch of people made a big deal about them being upset. Oh man, it like it's crazy I saw an equal amount people of people got. who were like, "Man, it's really good to see like uh, a heroic figure looking like this because real people mm-hmm. look like this." So, you know, like yeah, I'm, right. yeah. I'm sure it's like, gonna be fantastic. Last God of War game was phenomenal. This one will be phenomenal. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. Yeah, I'll have to download that and try it out one of these days. You haven't played the last one? The new I, one. I borrowed it from a dude at work and I played uh, through the first hour or two, but yeah. then I had to give it back. And I've since oh. had the free copy <laughs> that you get when you buy PS5. They give you like 12 free games or whatever. And so I can download it and oh. play it. I just haven't had time to check it out. Oh, it's, it's, mm-hmm. I think it's worth your time. I really enjoyed mm-hmm. it a lot. It's very different okay. from the other God of War games, but in a good way. Yeah. I'd almost recommend if you don't want to like for you, especially like play on one of the easier modes. Cause it's an amazing story, but the difficulty yeah, you can get a little, little bit tedious. <laughs> I mean, what are you trying to say? Max? No, for, so. no. no yeah, yeah, like, I mean, like, it, Max, yeah, Max no, totally right, nailed though. it. I am. I'm all about the easy yeah. mode, especially if I'm not. Uh, yeah. That's I got one nothing of those to prove. Games man. That, like it's, I yeah. like, uh, I'm playing Braverly default too right now. And I played it on the, the easy mode because I want to enjoy the game and, play around with the class system and not get penalized for it. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. I'm into that kind of stuff too. Not, not as much as Eric, but like I'm into it. Bad, <laughs> yeah. So that was the PlayStation showcase. I thought it was a bigger showcase than I bigger than I was expecting. A lot of big stuff, but again, like a lot of this stuff, like Wolverine, Spider-Man two, we're not going to see anything about that for years. Realistically. If I had to yeah. guess. Yeah, it was still a lot of fun to to know that it's coming, though. Yeah, it was kind of funny. Like a spontaneous Mm -hmm. uh, watching party broke out in our Slack channel when it was on. Um, Nice. A bunch of people jumped in there and just started reacting in real time to it. And it was it was fun because some of the announcements were pretty, pretty big. 
So, I mean, it makes up for what they did post E3, which was nothing. Which was nothing, exactly. So, I mean, nope. I, I didn't feel no, bad about not having a PlayStation 5 at all until until this. And, and now I'm like, oh, it's something I'll definitely have to look for in the next nine months. You know, guessing I'll be able to grab one in the next nine months. One would hope, but, you know, at that point, after after it's been out for two years, if they're still it's, not available. <laughs> That's a whole other discussion of like talking about because mm-hmm. it's so crazy that mm-hmm. this generation they've sold more <laughs> units than they have than any other one at this point, but also the demand just being so high, which is a microchip processing problem, right? Because I mean, there are cars being built that are just sitting in like fields that are missing microchip processors, you know, and stuff like that. Right. So it's definitely more important things, I guess. Than I guess. Fives, but. Got all these used cars around. We don't need those cars. We need these PlayStations. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, that's going to about do it for us this week, unless you guys have anything else to add. I do not. Yeah. I do cool. not. But thanks for Over listening. Here. We really appreciate it. Yeah, and if you like the show, if you tell somebody about the show, that's probably the it is the biggest way that we grow, especially because this is a small hobby podcast. That's you know, word of mouth is the best way to help us grow. So if you enjoy, you know, listening to Joseph just not stop talking nonstop. He won't be quiet this whole episode. <laughs> uh, well, other than that, we will be back next week with more stuff to kind of talk about. And uh, you can always check out our website, gamingnexus.com and check out all the other stuff that we do. If you like the content we make, there's a bunch of different ways you can kind of like watch or read or see what else we, we um, create too. Yeah. That'll all be in the show description or on the website too. So it's all there too. So. Or buy Until our horse week. blankets. <laughs> <laughs>